Hi everyone, this is Jen from CookiesCupcakesAndCardio.com. Today I'm going to talk to you about um, different types of decorating bags, also called icing bags, and the couplers and the other things that go with the bags that you might need to know. So the first bag I'm going to point out here, this is called a featherweight bag, and it's a reusable um, lightweight that you would use for large quantities for mass production as it can fill it can take up a whole lot of icing inside of the bag here um, you can wash it what I usually do is turn it inside out and just pop it in the dishwasher I find that that's the best um, one drawback is I do find that strong tinted icing such as reds and pinks um, they will tint the bag a little bit this one's a brand new fresh one so you can't see that but on some of my older bags, they do have remnants of the color behind. Um, with the big bags goes extra large couplers. This is called a coupler, and what it does is hold the tip. And we use a large coupler with a larger tip. So this goes inside of the bag, and then it just goes in like this. And I'll show you how to assemble it later. And what a coupler allows you to do is exchange different tips. And so if you have the same color of icing, um, but you want to have a different tip technique, that allows you to exchange um, your tip and change your different technique. So this kind of a bag over here is a 12 inch disposable decorating bag. You can buy them in bulk. We buy them by the hundreds. Um, you can get them, find them in the boxes. You can find them in these bags. And what they typically are used with is for more fine detailed decorating. You use a smaller um, coupler, the exact same idea. It comes off here and you put your tip on and it goes back together and you can exchange and change your different tips for different techniques. We use these a lot for um, small cupcake orders, um, decorating, uh, making different kind of characters on cakes. And um, I tend to use the decorating disposable bags a little bit more than the recyclable, or sorry, the reusable one, just because you do have to wash uh, the reusable one. It does add another element to an already busy workload. But the third type of bag that you can create by yourself, and all you'll need to do that, is parchment paper. And it's tended to use um, for writing and lettering techniques on desserts and cakes and whatnot. And it's used usually with melted chocolate to do fine detailed work. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how to assemble these bags and get them ready for being filled. So now I'm going to show you how to assemble the decorating bag using the coupler and the tip. So what you first want to do is take your the big piece of your coupler and you're going to put it all the way down inside your bag. So you're going to stretch it down as far as it can go. And it may be difficult at this point to see, so just listen really carefully. What you want to do is with your hand, just feel the very bottom of the ring. And you can tell where it is just with your finger, and I'm just going to make a little mark at the bottom of the ring. Just enough so that you can see it. So it's very, very light. And I'm going to bring out the coupler, and then I'll show you. So what I was feeling and where I marked was right here. So it ends, this is the flat, smooth part, and then my finger could feel this rung, and that's where I was marking. So that's where my bag has been marked. With your scissors, you're going to cut off the bottom of your bag using that from that mark. And then you're going to put your coupler back in there and just push it right through to there. If you're unsure and you're not quite um, certain of where you need to cut it, always cut on the side that would give you excess. You don't want to have your bag have too much cut off and then have your bag be unusable. That's the worst case. So if you're um, unsure, don't cut off as much as you think that you need to. So the next step, once your bag is fitted with the bottom piece of the coupler, you're just going to put your tip on and then you put your top of your coupler on, you twist it on, and there you have it. So that's all it takes is for your bag to be ready for icing. So when I would go to fill my bag, I would inside out bend it like this here, have it ready to go, and I would fill from there. So that's how you fill one of these reusable featherweight bags. Now for filling the disposable bags, that's a little bit easier. Um, you can do the same technique by putting your tip in, and I would do that if you're just a beginner or it's just you know casual decorating. Um, make the mark, but 
if you've done it many, many times, you kind of know by feel where it is. And my feel mark is about an inch and a half from the tip. That might be even a little bit short. I'm gonna fold back the bag here now. I find that that's a little bit easier. Put the tip, or put the coupler through there. No, oh, that was perfect. Told you I know it by feel. Put your tip on, and then put the coupler together like that. So now, you would fill your icing, and then you could change your tips on and off, take it off, put a new tip on, etc. So next up, I'm going to show you, before we fill the bags, I'm going to show you how to put together a parchment bag. So in order to make the parchment bag, which we talked about earlier is made for um, decorating with letters and fine details, you need to start with um, a piece of parchment paper that you're going to turn into a triangle. So the easiest way to do that is just to take one corner of it, hold it up to the edge to see where it meets. And make a sharp crease. From there, you're going to take a very sharp knife and what you're going to do is just cut along where you folded your triangle. So using the triangle, you're going to take one corner of it and you're going to let it curl in towards itself. And down here, sorry, it's getting a little crazy around here. So what you're going to do is take the corner, curl it up, and this part right here is going to become the tip, which is this part right here. So that's what you're going for. So I'm just going to fold this corner of the triangle up, oops, like this here. And then while that one's wrapping around, I'm gonna wrap the other side around as well. And these two pieces from the two corners, you want to meet at the top of your triangle, which then forms your tip. So I'll just do that again for you. So you're going to have the two pieces of the corners here meet up here at the tip. So you're folding one corner around, bringing it up and into here. Then the other piece is coming around and around to the back and they're both going up to meet together and they're forming a very small finite tip at the bottom. And you can adjust the level of which or the size of which the tip is just by moving around the tightness of your pieces of paper at the top here. What I like to do next is just fold it over. You can use tape or a stapler here. Um, all I've done is just fold that over there and then if you just give it a little tear and then fold those pieces down, it locks it into place. So that's as simple as that. So now it's locked together. You can do all your decorating using the parchment bag. So next up I will show you how to fill the bags, the decorating bags that we have been working with. So to fill your decorating bags, you do the large one and the small one the exact same. So I'm just going to show you how to fill the reusable one here. So what you do is the part that you fold it up and under, you want to cup your hand around it and tuck it in up there. So it's like your hand's making a C and you can fit your other hand down inside of it and that's where the icing's going to go. When I put my icing into it, I'm going to pull back with my knife and I'm going to drag it along the space between my thumb and my finger here. So I'm going to fill up my knife, push it down as far as it will go into the bag, and then I'm just going to pull up in that middle part of my hand there, and just keep doing that until you have enough icing in your bag to do the decorating work that you desire. A couple more in here. So scrape off your knife there. Then from here, what you're going to do is just pull the bag back up off of your hand and then you're going to close it up at the top here and squeeze the icing down towards the bottom where the tip is. Just squeezing it down and then to make it easy on yourself grasp it where the icing is and turn 
and twist and you've got yourself a filled piping bag ready for decorating. And you can do all of your decorating tips, which we'll be filming a series on later. So that is how you fill a piping bag with regular buttercream icing. So we also showed you how to make the parchment paper bag for decorating. And this one you would use with decorating chocolate, melted chocolate. I have melted candy melts here that I'm going to use. So all you do is you basically just put it inside of the glass like I have here to help it stand up. And then you put your melted chocolate inside of it. You don't need very much in these ones because these are usually just used for really fine details. Pull it out of your bag, same idea, and you're just going to make your decorations from here. Oh, there's little sparkles in these candy melts. Might be clogging my bag here. So if that happens, all you have to do is take a little snip off the bottom and you've got yourself a new fresh tip. And you can do all sorts of different decoration and techniques using a plastic or sorry, a parchment, a parchment bag. So thank you everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more today. Remember to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you again next time.